Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, Ranking Member Stab now for holding this hearing. Um, it's good to hear from stakeholders on this issue. This is a really important issue, uh, which uh, deals with budgetary impacts and threats to our national resources um, on federal, state, and private lands. And so. Uh, I'm, Mr. Chairman, uh, pleased to have these very distinguished leaders in our conservation, forestry, and wildlife uh, uh, communities uh, who all recognize the urgent need for changes in our current forest management policies. And a lot of the hearing today, I think, is focused uh, on firefighting, um, borrowing, uh, with the cost of fighting fires rising to $3 billion this year. But I would, uh, you know, we've got to find a more effective means of paying for fighting those fires and eliminate the borrowing from forest management funds. But I also believe, Mr. Chairman, that it is imperative that uh, we couple funding firefighting with improved forest management. Failure to improve forest management will result in a continuation of dangerous increases in forest fires and damage to private property and to the environment. And there are three things that I think can be done uh, to improve forest management uh, dramatically. And uh, three changes that I would suggest, and I want to get our panel's reaction to this. But first would be to expand the use of uh, categorical exclusions under NEPA. Uh, second, to reduce litigative risk. And third, uh, implementation of large landscape management plans, one of which is on the ground in the Black Hills National Forest in South Dakota, has been proven to be very effective in battling the pine beetle infestation that we've had there. So, Mr. Chairman, I just think we have to, once again, we, we have a problem some believe can be solved by throwing more money uh, at it. Um, but I believe that if we can take a, com a measured common sense uh, approach to managing our forests and uh, in declaring the pathway for federal agencies to manage them effectively, we can make much better use of and even reduce the funding that's dedicated to fighting fires. So I'd like to get the panel's reaction, if I might, to just their thoughts about the three things that I've suggested and ask the question, do you believe that these following three items, um, if implemented, would benefit forest management, a kind of categorical exclusion, um, expansion under NEPA, reducing uh, litigative risk when collaborative forest management projects are implemented, and allowing the use of arbitration as an alternative uh, dispute resolution mechanism, and then finally, uh, increased use of large landscape management plans. Ms. Stewart, you want to lead out? I'll speak to the landscape approach, which I see as a partnership, a collaborative approach, both public and private. And I think that's probably where our biggest strength is and the biggest opportunity that we have is in focusing on a common objective based on a large scale landscape. So I think that's a big part of the solution. On, on the uh, categorical exclusion issue, I think in areas where you've um, where you've got broad agreement among multiple interests who have come together in some form of collaborative, I think relaxing some of the process requirements is probably a good idea. Um, I'd be nervous about doing that writ large across the landscape because what you'll do is you'll end up creating antagonism and people will feel cut out of the process and they'll try to gum up the works. Um, so that's my only comment. Mr. Mr. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd also like to comment on the landscape um, idea. I know uh, out, out in uh, eastern Oregon, uh, uh, my uh, labor organization is working uh, as part of a, uh, a, a collaborative effort uh, to, uh, uh, f on stewardship uh, with, uh, with communities in eastern Oregon, with uh, other stakeholders, uh, timber, uh, timber companies, uh, environmental groups, uh, bringing people together um, to talk about um, landscapes and what needs to be done and trying to iron out and, and reach agreement on as many issues um, in terms of, you know, how we should manage that land and what we should manage that land for in terms of what, in terms of timber and other values. Um, and we're having some success doing that. Um, uh, so I think, I think those kinds of efforts where you bring the stakeholders together and then hold everybody accountable for coming up with the solutions, I think that's, that's a good approach to to, uh, to supplement this idea of, of, of landscape because, as has been pointed out, fire knows no uh, geopolitical boundaries, and we cannot just treat federal lands and let state and private lands go untreated because that's not going to solve the problem. Anybody else? Yes to all three. Okay. All right. Good. That's the answer I was looking for. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman.